What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 13th Angular 2 tutorial in which I'll be covering something known as ng-far in Angular 2. Well, we have already took a look at what ng-if is and similarly ng-far as the name says, it would just iterate over some iterable objects like arrays or objects, something like that. So we do had ng-if in Angular 1 and ng-far as well. But there's a bit of syntax change and pretty much everything else is the same. So first of all, let me just get rid of this and write public movie list and you can just make use of the movie list only if you want to. Batman versus Superman. Yep. And then we have Civil War. Captain America Civil War. And we have Deadpool as well. Uh, let's just keep the list to three right now. Again, let's just get rid of this for now. And right here, I'm gonna create an another list, which just says li. And here's a bit of syntax change. So what we need to do in this li is first of all write ng4 just like we did for ng if, and this star just means let's throw over the control to Angular 2 and this is the structural directive then for the angular 2 now what i need to do is right here we'll create a temporary iteratable you know element for a list so what i'm gonna say is ng4 movie of movie list now what this means is that I am just grabbing one single element from this movie list at a time and that element would go inside this movie variable which I can then further use in my list item to you know, just add inside a tag or something like that. So what I'm gonna do again is just close this li tag and the ul1 as well. So inside this li tag I'm gonna write as an expression as what is this movie similarly we had for example in angular 1 we had something like ng4 movie and movie list something like that then we made use of the movie similarly we have this thing right here in angular 2 so if I just simply take a look in the browser as you can see we have got these three movies listed out right here so again if you can see in the ul tag we see all of these three movies you can just simply bind them in a span tag or do like whatever you want to do this would be still available again if you just don't want to make use of this another list you can just make use of dev right here and make use of p and again, this should probably work without the list item, as you can see. Now, you can actually have an index as well for this. I know we had that in Angular 1. So similarly, you can just add a bunch of items in the same statement. So let's just say I have this i as index. And this index is by default value. So this would just increment itself automatically. You don't need to do anything. So if I just do like index and then we have or probably i1 and then we have this thing right here so if i just take a look at that you can see that it starts from zero obviously zero one two so that's how you pretty much add an index to your ng4 directive and yeah so that's pretty much a simple way of how you get started with ng4 so that's all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll be looking at something really cool with angular 2 like adding data binding two-way data binding exchanging data from user to the components and all of that cool stuff so if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching